In this video, we're gonna talk about the new bottoms up circuit board with only three buttons. Compared to older models, you can see here, much more buttons going on. But we're gonna talk about how to go from our standard purging, programming size, being in poor mode, and also talk about some fun cheat codes of setting the dispenser in party mode or other options you can use for this. To turn the dispenser on, you see the power icon here in the large. Just press that once and it'll turn on, indicated by a green light here. If you want to turn the dispenser off, you just press and hold the power button for about half a second, it powers off. You'll notice that there is a little flashing green light, it's sort of our standby mode. If you have a long draw system, meaning you have kegs stored in a separate keg room, and there's a longer run to the dispenser, uh, you'll also have our empty keg detectors on the wall-mounted panels. Uh, you'll notice that this circuit board here is attached to a kegerator, so it doesn't have those empty keg lights, uh, but you will have a circuit board that will have the flashing lights there available as well. With our dispenser turned on and our keg tapped, we need to get a little bit of beer through the lines, so we need to purge the line. So to go into purge mode, you're going to press the small and medium button at the same time. You see that both of those lights are lit up as well as this one here. That means we're in manual mode or purge mode. So what you're going to do is press down on the slider magnet on your cup coupler. No liquid's going to come out unless we tell it to. And then to get liquid out, we can press any button here. I just hold this over here just to keep any spray from happening. I'll just press the S button. Wait till we have beer, clear beer coming out. Looks pretty good to me. Press again to stop it. And then we've purged the system. To exit purge mode, just press the S and M buttons at the same time. Now you're back to this one light here. That lets you know you're out of purge mode. To program the size, just select whichever size you want to roll with. I'm going to go with medium here. Hold the medium button or whichever button you're going to be programming and push down on your vessel. Then release when you're at your fill level. These circuit boards are programmed to have a default size. And what this means is that, let's say I'm going to pour a small sample here for our taster glass. Once I release, the light is going to go back to the medium. The medium kind of being our default pour size. You can change that, and we'll go over that here in just a second. After you've programmed the size, you're now good to just push and pour. You notice there's also an error light here in the upper left corner. Now, if anything should go wrong during the pour process, that'll light up. If that happens, you can give us a call or you can refer to the YouTube videos we have available as well as the circuit board navigation manual provided with your dispenser. There are some additional features with the circuit board that we like to call cheat code mode. And in cheat code mode, you can change your default size, which we mentioned earlier, uh, or you can put the dispenser into party mode, which will cause the LEDs here to flash as the glass is filling. To enter our cheat code mode, with the dispenser turned off, you're going to hold the S and M buttons. And all three buttons will light up. And the first thing we're going to look at is changing the default size. So originally we had the medium as our default size. To enter the default size mode, you're going to press the small button three times. You can notice that the small and large buttons are now flashing. Those are our two other options to set for the default. So I'm going to press the S button here. When I do that, this turns off. Turn the dispenser back on. Our S is lit up here. So I'm going to do a medium pour real quick. And you can stop the pour anytime by pressing any of the buttons. Do that. And when I release, our default size is small, so it goes back the small. To activate party mode where the LEDs flash as the beer fills, we need to go into our cheat code mode again. So hold the small and medium buttons. All three light up here. And then to access party mode, you're going to press 
small, small, medium. See our lights are flashed up here. We have a small and large blinking. Large is gonna be our party mode. Once we turn this on, it's flashed like that. To switch the lights from party mode back to standard lighting, and turn off our dispenser, go into cheat mode, holding the S and M button, we'll three lit up here. We're gonna do small, small, medium. And press S for standard. Now, turn this on, we get the solid lights there. You can also adjust the brightness on your circuit board. To do that, just simply hold the small button and press the large button. You'll notice that kind of went away, it's very dim. This is also a very brightly lit room. To bring that back, just press, hold the small button and press the large to adjust the brightness.